Me and Miss Mia are here in Las Vegas. It's early morning. As you might know, it's the 60th Olympia this weekend, and I'm kind of prophylactically recording this video in case I think there's some cool snippets we can get out of this footage. Right now, I'm going to meet my client, Andrew, at his Airbnb so that we can go to the Dragon's Lair and train early this morning before the expo. At the expo, we have our own booth. Last night was a very late night. We had dinner and it was like midnight before we left, a really fancy dinner. Minimum tab was $3,500. And we balled out. Um, Steve, everybody was there that you ever know on YouTube, even other people outside of the fitness industry, which is crazy. I'll leave their names out of this because I don't know if they want to expose themselves. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, hang around guys that use, you know, pharmaceuticals and shit. But anyways, um, cool stuff. Today, we're going to go to the expo, see what happens. I'm not actually intending on doing a whole thing here with like a production quality and everything. The Generation Irons film crew is going to be there because Justin Harris is getting a documentary done on him. And I guess we're just going to be a part of it. And then uh, Chase Irons has a film guy there as well that he hired full time. So I'm just going to be in the background with my dinky little phone recording this footage for you. So hopefully I can piece together what I got and show you something about the, the Olympia this year if you didn't make it. So let's go. You have no idea how nice it is to get plastic bags of everything you buy. Everywhere I've been, this is not a thing. <laughs> Every country, and now I get it. And I'm having America's coffee. Let's go. Later. We're at Dragon's Lair now, training, push, and arms. Obviously, got to Andrew's house, who is behind the camera. Andrew, say hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so now we're training arms. We're gonna go back to his house, eat. I haven't eaten yet because the meal we had yesterday night was massive. So we're gonna train triceps, chest, and then get back home and eat and then head over to the expo where we'll have our whole booth set up. So let's go. Come on, Andrew, man. Dude, I, my, my pump is so crazy, I can't even pick my arms up. A thousand grams of carbs and Anadrol will definitely do that for you. Yep. A lot of people might be wondering what my Olympia stack is. 100 milligrams of Anadrol a day to 150, depends on the day. Thankfully, some blood pressure medication as of getting here. And whenever I decide to inject testosterone and Mastron, so it could range anywhere from 500 milligrams a week to maybe 1,000 milligrams a week, depending on how many times I inject. So we're pretty big right now, you know what I'm saying? We're pretty big. <laughs> Let's fucking go. But the new one, the Grand Tour. God damn it, he's so tall. This dude is pimping out all these girls for cookies. Oh, she got caught. She got caught. <laughs> God, we're gonna go around. <laughs> So we are going in to backstage. Uh, I snagged Chase's third path VIP packs. Sydney, Steve, and Aaron are all here uh, waiting to get backstage. I'll record a bit of this. I don't know actually how much we can record or not. I don't know. We've been at the expo all day. If you can't hear my voice, is gone. So many people came up and said me to me, which I appreciate you guys. I never would have expected to have that many people come up to me. Uh, also, I'm in a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies that have made posting videos like we've done. So, really glad we made it this far and uh, created enemies as well as allies. So, I'll keep you tuned in what happens next. I'm living off of caffeine. I have not eaten outside of that small chicken meal. So, uh, this is going to be good. And a couple shots of amino acids is great. Some of 
of you guys that don't know me, uh, my name is Temer Alguindi. I'm the largest producer of uh, events in the world. I produce about 205 events in uh, 12 different countries. Here's some introduction on the stage that we're putting together. We have over $11 million of stage, you know, equipment back there. series gets a World Series ring or so on and so forth. Jake Wood and I have always wondered why the winner of the World Championship of bodybuilding doesn't get to walk into a room and represent himself as the greatest in the world. So, shit. So we linked up with the same company that makes the World Series rings. Yeah. Okay? And we um, just might be starting a new tradition and when we do it it's going to be incredible and the ring on my finger was a very generous gift from the company who makes those rings and it is a version of i don't even feel like i should be wearing the ring but they gave it to me so i'm wearing it this weekend because i told them that i would but i don't feel like i am worthy to wear a ring of this nature but there will be a mr olympia championship ring that will go along with the sandow trophy and the winners Woo! later that night sites and stuff but then it kind of just disappeared <laughs> what's that i'm just curious <laughs> all right uh-oh yeah, Busted. Busted. Boy. Nice and crispy. Um, so we just got back from all the Olympia stuff. We went to, what you guys saw, uh, Andrew's house and had some pancakes. My voice is gone. Again, so many of you came up to talk to me, which is crazy. So I'm gonna get some chicken. Believe it or not, this isn't for me. This is for Miss Mia. Uh, as she doesn't like dog food. So I have to buy her real food and then make her the real food. Thankfully, we eat the same things. So I'm going to grab this, make her some food, and then ideally 
We'll go to bed and then make it to pre-judging for classic in the morning and then go train later, which you guys will see around that point at some time. I'm not so sure. But yeah. So I'm trying these new peptides out from Modern Means and this one is Thymosin Alpha 1. And it's a really interesting compound and I, I'll be honest, I had to do a lot of research on it to understand its full use cases and what it could practically do for me. But I'm really excited to try it. So today is going to be the first dose of it. And usually from what I've actually seen in clinical research is like twice weekly applications seems to be best. So I'm going to give it a go today and I'll let you guys know how it actually goes. But I do want to say, and this is like cheeky plug 101, Modern Aminos has some really good products and I'm going to be super honest with you. I'm really excited to try their GLP-1 agonists and experience kind of with my hepatic health specifically using those but if you guys want to head over to modern aminos and use code coach colton uh, it will give you a chicken discount the next morning Pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's get out of here, Mia. Let's get out of here. several days later so we are back in canada unfortunately it's uh two days after the olympia i've been grinding i've been meaning to make a conclusionary video and i've just been grinding at work because i'm so behind of course like every year we're all sick so i'm ill uh, I don't feel great at all. It was really weird. I thought I had COVID. Uh, so I was like, you know, just sitting there when I got home and just like kept falling asleep, just like passing out. And it was like I was going narcolepsy or something. It was just super weird. Like I would just sit there and pass out and, you know, wake up and then pass out again after I was trying to get work done. It was actually really frustrating because I was trying to get work done. But we're here anyways, back in the plan. I lost like 12 pounds during the Olympia. So I actually went to a sushi buffet to replete. And then I lost more weight after that, which was very interesting. So anyways, we're on a morning walk. I just wanted to say that the Olympia really was awesome. Like it was a good experience and not because of the Olympia, but because of my friends there and meeting a lot of you guys and like having the opportunity to just be around people who enjoy the same thing as me and, you know, it, our friends, literally, you know, just having friends. And I think we kind of forget how valuable friends can be. And for me, it was like, man, it was really peaceful. It was a really unique experience just because of friends so it was a really good time i really thank everyone for coming out taking pictures with me i know i didn't get a ton of footage for you guys on youtube but there was a lot of you there who spoke with me talked to me shared experiences with me and i thought it was beautiful so stay well stay giant and massive and stay tuned for the next video